Welcome. In this video, we shall refer to the following question: Determine whether the given four points lie on the same plane. First of all, if we are given only three points, then they must lie on the same plane. It's because either they all lie on the same line, or they form a triangle, which is a planar object. So the issue here is that if we are given the fourth point, whether these fourth points also lie on the same plane as the first three points or not. A vector is formed by an initial point and a terminal point. As we are given four points, we can treat one of the points as a common initial point and the other three points as three terminal points. Then we can form three vectors from these four points, and the arrow tails touch together. Previously, we know that the absolute value of the triple scalar products of three vectors represents the volume of parallel pipette with these three vectors as adjacent edges. Besides, the absolute value of the triple scalar product is zero. If and only if these three vectors are coplanar, which also means that the four points lie on the same plane. Therefore, we can use triple scalar products to determine whether these four points lie on the same plane. Let's construct vectors a b, a c, and a d as follows. Then we evaluate the triple scalar products. Vector a b dot vector a c cross vector a d. Using this formula, we put the entries of vectors a b a c and a d to the first, second, and third row respectively. By expanding the determinant, we found that this determinant has a value of twelve, which is non-zero. Since the value is non-zero, we know that the volume of the parallel pipette formed by these three vectors is non-zero. Therefore, the three vectors is not coplanar, which also means that the four points do not lie on the same plane. Please attempt this follow-up question. We have the same points a, b, c, and d as before. Find the volume of tetrahedron with these four points as the vertices. Please leave your answer in the comments. This is the end of the video. Thank you.